icy hill, hold your coats tight and keep a fire in your hearts, and keep your warmest memories prepared. Know that ahead you will all be challenged, and find that snow can mask the missing and hide the dead just as well as lost time. May Suera watch over all who enter the blizzard that is raging on the mountain, and may the stones of Dugan herself protect those sad souls lost on high. So starting with uh, Orunk and uh, Hernar, what would y'all like to do? Got a little downtime. <clears throat> um, so I'll look to Hernar. I'll look down at you. And I'll say, uh, uh, if you want to come with me, friend, um, there is uh, there's somebody I'm looking for on on this on this vessel. And uh, I, I mean to speak with him. Sounds good to me. Down for a little. And Haju, are you with them still? Haju went to uh, do. Uh, I went to speak to the lady, and help her out with her arcane stuff. That's right. That's right. Okay. I'm just trying to get a mental picture. Let me actually mark y'all on my little diagram here. I have a, I have a, I have a little gut feeling that he may actually be able to help her because he he can speak to her through uh, telepathy. 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 Yeah. Telepathy. Oh, man, it's like it's like the Teletubbies, but worse. Telepathy. I love it. Come on, guys! I love making up words though, like explosivity. Oh, uh, like, like cap, what? Like caps. Um. Oh, what did he call it? Um, prestidigitation. Oh, I love prestidigitation. Okay, guys. So uh, let's prestidigitate um, whatever's going on here. Oh, <laughs> um. So I, I'll I'm I'm gonna have uh, her and ours help, and I'm gonna describe what this woman looks like. I'll say if you see this this woman with blah 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 blah, let me know. This is the person I wish to speak to. Alright. Yeah. And y'all gonna do what? Go about just looking for Kind of just looking for her. Where do you want to look first? Uh, well, the last time I saw her, she was up top, and she was towards the back. So that's where I want to start looking. Okay, you head up top. Her and ours with you. And you can see there's a bit of people about. Haju is walking over near the wheel, where you can see uh, Dusk is dusting off his hands from um, fin having just finished... Mm -hmm feeding the lady who's had her mouth in her hands this entire time. I'll give a whistle for the wolfhound as well to come out and come come along with me. All right, you hear a yip from downstairs, and you hear someone say, Hey! And Here there's a comes. big hound come bounding up the stairs, up to the first floor, mouth open, tongue lolling, I'll and give the him, tail's wagging. Give him some you really nice scratches and pets. and You really just did the hay from, There's a man in the river in Lego City. Hey. <laughs> hey! Um, but um, just have him accompany us as well, just so he gets some fresh air. Okay. So he pretty much just sticks to you, and even when he looks at uh Bernard, he's like brushing all over you. I do like oh. this little animal action. He is quite friendly. I'm I'm quite yeah. surprised. 
So, give me an investigation check. You get over to the area that you last saw her. Uh, uh, nice. Investigation. Yeah, her and R. If you want to also help look, you can. Separate check or him with advantage? Separate. All right. Nat one, baby. Mm. To get combined, we have a ten. You find you find that as you try looking, her and R seems to be looking everywhere you try to look. I'm just and... staring at a wall. Yeah, he's always in front of you. Everywhere you go, there he is. You can't get around him right now. You feel I'm, like it might be a bad idea to bring him along. No, I'm not going to be rude. He's, he, I, I know he's trying to help, and that's what matters. Him. Um. Well, if we can't, if we can't find her just based on looking, I'll, I'll ask some of the people who are working around here. I'll say, um, excuse me, friend. You wouldn't happen to have seen a, a woman on, around here about yay, yay tall. You know, this color hair, this figure. Hmm. No, I saw one earlier when we were boarding the ship, helping us load stuff up. Haven't seen one since. Haven't seen her recently? No. Hmm. He looks at the other one, uh, this other uh, crewman, bioman, he says, Anything? And he shrugs, he's like, oh, same here. Oh. I saw her all over the place when we were loading. Not since. Well, uh, that's all right. Uh, I, I'm just curious. I'm kind of looking for. Um, it's 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 no problem. Well, um, if you're looking for. You might be looking at the wrong place. Uh, I don't might think be. Um, I'll just keep looking. Um, if I'm, we're not finding anything successfully back here, we'll move up the ship and just kind of check around, scan through people up here, see if I can figure out who it is. Roll me an investigation check. Both of us again? Yeah. 17. 11. Okay. Pernar, you being a connoisseur of fine hairs. Oh. Oh. You notice some almost golden pieces of hair are caught on a nail sticking out from a board along one of the walls. Seems I have found some uh, evidence. Does that... You like hair? Like match the length and color of the person that I saw? It matches the color. The length would be hard to determine. Okay, okay. I'll say that could be her. I wouldn't. I don't imagine. Are, are there as many women are there as there are men on this ship, or no? The only women that you've seen was this person and the one up there in the front of the ship. Um. So I'll say there are only, as far as I can tell, uh, there are only two ladies aboard this ship. And if it doesn't belong to the one driving, or not driving but piloting, then I, I would assume this would belong to her. I make the same assumption. But uh let's keep looking. If 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 maybe if we follow this direction, we can eventually lead ourselves to it. Does it look like the hair caught on the nail is pulled in any given direction? Like it's snagged going one way or the other? No, you can't really tell. It looks like just a knot around it. Okay. Like her hair got caught up in it and she yanked. Well, she might have a bit of a bald patch, so we can add that to our list. Make her easy to identify, huh? Yeah, let me see that head. So y'all continue to look? Yes. Yes. Okay, investigation. This is there more keep all over again? Oh, well, there we go. Twelve. Okay. Don't really find anything too interesting left in this area. Um... Perhaps we should make our way downstairs. See if there's yeah. anything downstairs. Um, so we'll go. We'll migrate to the second floor, where like the 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 bar is, and where all like basically the gathering area. I'm I'm sure okay. there are a lot of people here, so we might be able to scan over some more faces. You go down, and there is a bit. In fact, pretty much all seven of the crew members who you were assisting earlier, they're still 
kind of recovering. Mm -hmm. They're using this kind of as an excuse to just chill out for a little bit. Yeah. And um, even though, you know, Captain Simmer is already up and moving. Um, so you have people about drinking. There is somebody actually manning the bar. And uh, he is an odd skin tone. You notice that he has like a burgundy color to his skin. And he's over there right now. And he's unlashed all of the um, bottles. And he's taken them out. And is currently going through what is left. And you see that there's a big pile of broken glass and bottles off on one side. Okay. Um, so I'll just give him a little head nod as uh, as, a, as we walk in. But um, mm -hmm. I'll say, well, Pernar, there are plenty of people here that we could ask or look at. Yeah, we'll go around and ask it about for uh, the description that you gave. Okay. So you start asking about, and not really anyone knows what you're talking about. They've all seen a woman early, except there is one person who he has been drinking a, a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, he doesn't exactly answer you outright. And this is to her and all. Okay. He's uh, put a uh, standoffish a bit. Can I tell Grace? It's probably Wally. You got it loud over there. Wally's a banger movie. Oh, the movie. I was like, who the hell is Wally? Yeah, Wally the movie. But yeah, what race is the uh, drunkard feller? He's human. So I'm gonna go to him and be like, "It's because I'm a goblin, isn't it?" And he looks up at you, and he looks back into his uh, mug, and he shrugs and he says, uh, "I do not give a damn." So, do you know anything about this woman that I have described to you? He takes a big swig and clanks it down. Ugh. And he just kind of sighs. Do you have to do with a bunch of questioning this early in the morning? Let's grab a drink, sit, enjoy some time before it goes to a shit show again. If I drink with you, would you tell me what you know? Mm. His One of his eyebrows gets just kind of crooks up and he says, You drink with me? Does that mean... Drinks on you? Sure. Do we have to pay for drinks on this ship? Yes, uh, yeah. We had to sell the wine. Well, it's uh, light spirits are free, but anything that is like hard liquor. Uh, yeah. And okay. that's exactly what this man is drinking. So, he looks to you and he says, uh, drinks on you then? Depends on how much you drink. I don't want to go broke. He says, my friend, I'm a soldier of Hyrdel. This is my first drink of the day. You know I at least have four more ahead of me. Do I know how much, uh, per drink it would cost? Uh, you look over, and you can kind of see what he's drinking, and you're slightly familiar with it, but not too familiar due to your lineage. But yeah. give me a history check to see what you know of more civilized ales. Just a ten. <laughs> These rolls are terrible! Yeah, you're not, you're not sure how much this would cost. You're like, it could cost a copper, maybe three... So I'm going to ask him, uh, so what are you drinking so I know what to, to go and get for us? Mm, this, this is ice. Part of me, IRL, just wants to be like, meth? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll get you some drinks. I will be right back. Okay. And I'll go and get two of of his drinks and then one mug that's just full of water. Okay. 
And it's going to cost you a total of 12 copper. 12 copper. Ooh. God damn. Did you get two bottles? No. No. Oh. So, For what? How you described much, money earlier, these things are healers. How much yeah. copper is a gold again? A hundred. A hundred? So that would bring me down to... Uh, that's what? 88? Or... So this is a real world of a real world equivalent of buying a fifty dollars drink. You know that, right? So yeah, I'm gonna bring him uh, two of his particular drink, and I'm gonna sit down with my mug of water. Adventuring is lucrative, man. And now both of his eyes go up, and he says, "You really got me one." I got you two. Hmm. And he puts his hand out, and he kind of. He goes to pat your shoulder, but when he feels the fur on your shoulder, he kind of pulls back, and he then he goes and to touch your head, and he just pulls back both hands, and he just goes, ah. so, "Thank you, you're a good sport." Yes. Do I see and this as, happening? Yeah, you do. And as he gets the drink closer to his mouth, um, you can see his breath is actually coming out, as if he's in a tundra. It's frosting over over the drink. Is, it, is he drinking Jaeger? No. Actually? No, so uh, you can in, do a closer inspection of one of them. You actually put it to your face and like get a smell of it, and when you breathe it in, it's like you just broke breathed in um, cold air, and it almost even seared your... It, it's almost like searing in your throat. It was so oh. cold. Yeah, I'm just gonna be sipping on my water. <laughs> and uh, he takes he takes a deep uh, a deep pull from it and puts it back on the table, and then he breathes out again, and it's just normal, and it doesn't seem to be having any crazy effect or anything wildly happening happening to him. And he says, "Uh, you asked about a girl." Yes. You know. There was a girl who was asking to buy one of our spots. Did you catch her name? Nah. I didn't even get a chance to catch the coin. And he looks in the mug and kind of swirls it around. He says, oh, she was offering her a good bit to come along. Well, it seems she made her way regardless, apparently. <laughs> well, yeah, I think you're he's telling, you're telling me. Somebody else made that coin and I didn't. Mm, breaking my heart. I'm going to touch another hard pull from it. What, what were you saying there, Cap? I said, I, was he not suggesting that he's the one who did it? By saying he didn't even have time to catch the coin? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. He said, was that all you wanted? So I really What's happening? Wow, there is a hurricane. Yep, is that oh. you? Yeah, that might that might be my thing. Is that better? Yep. Absolutely. Okay. But uh that's really all I needed. It's all you know about this particular woman. Mm. Golden, golden hair, blondish. She uh she didn't look like any soldier. Hmm. Maybe more of a uh, person that you'd hire for certain activities. Uh, depends on the activity. Oh, yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. He slaps his arm and he said, This girl probably could knock all of my teeth out. And he says, and I don't have many left. And he kind of smiles for you, and you can see that he's not kidding. Most of his back rows are gone. Uh, well, if that's all you have to tell me, uh, well, that drinking's bad for your liver, but uh, I'll, I'll be on my way. Thank you, though. He said, but good for the spirit! And he raises it, and he gets like three cheers from around him. And, and then he gets uh, Bottoms Before up. I leave, I'm going to look him in the eye, get my mug, and just down the rest of my water. 
Okay. Give me a performance check. All right. 11. Uh, hang on. <laughs> All right. Yeah. He he slowly pulls it down, looks at you, and he says, "What the cards, boy?" <laughs> oh. And he puts his uh his mug on the table, and he does a light clap for you. Yeah, yeah. So I liked you. I knew I liked you. That was the plan. I'm just watching this go down and listening, and I'm just smiling. So I'm gonna go yeah. back to the and be like. Uh... Well, apparently this uh, girl or woman or what have you is uh, formidable as a combatant, but uh, try to buy her way uh, a spot onto this uh, ship, but a uh, gentleman over there didn't quite get to make that transaction, but maybe she did with somebody else, or maybe she actually snuck her way on, because she's not supposed to be here, apparently. Well... So Based on what I've seen, um, that seems to be the case, at least from the disdainful look that the captain gave her when I first noticed her, and so did he. But what purpose would she have for uh, trying to buy her way onto this adventure? Or this maybe mission? She wanted, uh, maybe she wanted a real quick and more secure method of getting to this study site that we are on our way to? So, how'd you? How'd you? Yep, 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 yep. sorry. I don't know what you mean. Alright, so, you currently have went up to this woman who is talking in her companions. You've been directed her way. Uh, what do you do? What do you ask? What's your goal here? First thing he does is he goes up to her and he says, Sir Simmer has said that I can assist you in arcane uh, matters. Her eyes kind of go wide. She nods. Um, what would you like me to do? She shrugs her shoulders and her, hand, her, her mouth is in her hands. She shrugs her shoulders, looks around, looks at her hands, looks back at you. I will, um, I will, uh, I'll say, um... Who's typing a book? Yeah, I can't concentrate right now. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, he'll say, um, he'll say, uh, luckily, I can help you in arcane arts, and I'll touch your forehead with that little pinkish glow, and I'll make a psionic, I'll make a telepathic uh, connection, and, and, uh, say... A psionics as well inside her head okay. and and i'll ask her in her head you can may speak to me this way wait this is another woman no this is the same woman this one that you were dealing with oh i see i didn't know you were talking to her okay yeah so yeah. so she speaks to you through her mind and she projects and she says i'm just so tired right now i see what is what is the incantation that you're speaking? So may I relieve you from what you're doing? Are you an elementalist? No, I am. I am a sorcerer. She does a mental sigh, and she mentally sighs, and you can see the frustration in her eyes. She's like, "Then you can't help me." She says, I'm sorry, and I appreciate the help, but uh, you can't handle this. I'm sorry I was useless. And I will uh, cut the uh, telepathic connection. Cap, we can hear your hurricane again. I will cut, yeah. I will cut the telepathic connection and, uh, and go, uh, go, go, go wander about then. <laughs> Since before I can't you, do anything. Before oh. you go, I'll say, I'll say how'd you she say? I, I was standing next to her. That's sort of where I'm keeping a lookout. I simply communicated to her in her head, seeing as she couldn't speak physically. Oh, oh I ask her if she needs anything. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Before I can cut, uh, before I, before I cut can, uh, telepathic connection, then because you would have stopped me. Well, um, hang on, you 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 cut that thing at will. So just turn around, and touch her in the head again. 
Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll just do it then. Um, I'll say, um, uh, Sir Dusk here asks if you need anything in specific that you can relate to me and I'll relate to him. She says, uh, can you please bring me a chair? I see. Uh, and I'll just say, Sir Dusk, she requires a chair. All right. Uh, I'm going to go down. I'm going to... So there are obviously wooden chairs around. Are there any chairs with any, like, um, uh, like velvet backs or anything? Any, anything more comfortable than just a normal piece of wood? Yes, you have two of those behind the bar. There's a man um, sitting there with, like, burgundy skin. Okay. Um, so I'll sort of look at him and I'll go, can I borrow one of those chairs? He looks at them and he says, I'm not using them. Be right, my well, I'm going gonna... to take one and take it up to the lady. All right. And you can uh, see the relief on her face when you come up, even though all you see are her two eyes. Uh, then after that, uh, Haji will leave, seeing as he's pretty much useless, and he'll just wander around the ship. <laughs> aimlessly. Uh, just a wandering slime. Yeah, just a wandering aimlessly. So I'm going to do something, actually. I'm going to... The coins here have heads and tails, right? Yes, they do. Okay, so I'm going to lay down a coin heads up next to her, and I'm going to say, if there's anything that you need, flip this coin over, and I'll come by and check it every now and then, and then I'll go get Haju to talk to you for Okay. okay? And I'll lay, I'll lay down a copper coin heads up, and I'll leave. Okay, she nods at you. And you see when she sits down, it's almost like her knees buckle as soon as she plops in, and her legs just kind of go out wide, and she leans back, but she still has her hands on her mouth. I must be a sucky job. Time for me to wander aimlessly. <laughs> I'll wander with you. Okay. Alright, so y'all two get wandering about, and uh, as you do... As you do, you hear uh, some commotion going on at the rear of the ship. Uh, Check it out. I'm gonna make my way over to the commotion. Okay. Can can me and well, uh, her hear it as well? No, y'all cannot. Okay. Y'all get over there and you see that it's a group of uh, the crewmen. The uh, they're all talking amongst each other and they're pointing at something that they're all, that y'all are heading towards. They're what is it? The ship, or they're pointing at what we're coming towards? What, you, what was that, Lane? They're at the rear of the ship, but pointing yes. towards what we're going towards? Yeah, they're at the rear of the ship, talking amongst each other, and they're pointing towards what y'all are going towards. Like the mountain? No, there is something uh, low in the air. Uh, can I try and identify it? I just by taking a good old gander? Give me, uh, give me nature. It's hard to see it with the eye, but there's something moving in the air, in the wood line ahead. That's yes, negative for me. Yeah, no. Um, somebody says uh, that Melgar has the spyglass. Uh, where's Melgar? They all look up to the crow's nest, which is high uh, above everyone. All right. Let's crawl our way up to Melgar. There's a set of webbed ropes that lead up high, so y'all can actually kind of use them to climb like a ladder majority of the way. Uh, all right. Do we need to roll anything to get up there? There's no commotion going on. As long as you take your time and you're not hurried about it, it should be an easy feat. Yep. Uh, I'll say Mr. Melgar. And you see him turn around. He is looking through the spyglass, but he's not looking in the direction where y'all are heading. He's looking towards the mountain. Um, and he says, yes! And so you see he's a grizzled older man. Do you see something over there? And I'll point in the direction that everybody was looking in the tree line. Uh, he blinks at you, and you see that one eye opens uh, slower than the other. And he blinks at you again. His eyes look strained, and he looks off in that direction and pulls up this ridiculously long spyglass and it snaps out a little bit at a time puts it up to one of his strained eyes and you see him kind of stumble back and he says 
Oh, shit! Uh-oh. Is there a problem? He snaps it shut and he turns and he says, We have a Wyvern! Oh, a Wyvern. A Wyvern. A wyvern. Is that right? Or is a Wyvern different? No, you goob! A Wyvern! He says, Go down, tell the captain! Okay, let's go down and tell the captain. Alright. Uh, we'll hurry this time, so we'll crawl down faster. Or at least I will. Okay. Uh, and I'll look around for uh, Captain. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll go in a hurried um, yeah. motion. See, I'm basically See. copying you at this point. Ca Captain Simmer. Captain is not on the top deck, nor is he on the deck below. Is he on the third deck? You Cargo? find him on the second. Oh, the more okay. Lavish, with the more lavish things. Okay. And you see that he currently is talking in a heated discussion with one of the other crewmen. Um, so I'll make my way down there and I'll say, uh, Mr. Simmers, there's a, what do they call it, a wyvern? A wyvern. It's a wyvern. Wyvern. Yeah, wyvern. There's a wyvern. What is a wyvern? I would start laughing if he corrects you and goes, you mean a wyvern? <laughs> that would be hilarious. So he says, you mean a wyvern? <laughs> Did, no, he didn't. <laughs> Did he? You mean a wyvern? Yeah. That's, no. what the man at, that's what the man at the top told me it was. The man in the crow's oh, no, no, no. corrected us and said it was a wyvern, not a wyvern. He's, okay, his eyes go wide instead of wyvern? Yes. Yes. Oh. And he grabs his uh, that piece his uh his uh chest armor, slaps it over, and he starts sliding on his gauntlets, and he says, "All right, everyone, whip it up." I am already equipped with my spells. I he says, "He said, uh, he says, step aside. Let me go. Let the crew know." All right, I'm gonna make my way to the top. I will follow you, Sir Dusk. All right. Okay. On the. Okay. Stay where the bar is, there's a bell by by the bar, and he grabs mm -hmm. a hold of the uh, rope below it, and he begins clanging this extremely loud shrieking bell, and um, it fills the entire area with its noise. You can't even hear people talk over it. Below deck, here, people start running up top. Some people are half bathed. You see other people have uh, you know clothing you know, all disheveled. Some people are already dressed and even have a weapon drawn. And uh, when the captain sees them as they pass him by, he just says, "What what's going on? He says, we have a Wyvern. We have a Wyvern. We have a Wyvern. And uh, everyone, the people who are not fully dressed, they go right back downstairs, uh, gear up, they come back up, and then pretty soon this entire floor is just filled. I'm going to be gripping I, my psionic focus. What do you I hope We all hear this as well. I'm moving up to the top deck. Okay. And I, I will follow Dusk. So you all move to the top deck ahead of everyone. Because um, they're they're still on the on the floor below, on the first floor, with uh, Simmer, as he gives them a brief. Uh, what about um, uh, her and Orunk? Oh, Load, uh... I'll look down to you and I'll say uh, sounds like we're needed. What did, we heard what it was, right? We heard it was a Wavarin? Yeah, you would have heard that. Well, I would essentially have been like, I don't know about you, but anything that starts with a W is pretty dangerous. <laughs> Do I... Actually, have I actually, heard of a Wavarin before? Both y'all can do either a... Nature history check on this one. I'll do nature. Uh, we'll do history this time around. <sighs> okay. Uh, oh, I'm gonna roll two. Yeah, I'm you can roll for this one. Uh, I'll do history. Okay. Nope. All right, but Orunk would know that Wolverines are an elemental beast, and that they are actually dragonkin. Low on the Low on the totem pole, they are um, 
they do have a devastating breath weapon. And they are more serpentine than their cousins. Almost like long snakes with four legs. Ooh. It's got four legs. No, like four, like the like four legs in the front. Oh, I got you. Okay, so it's like a long wyvern, but like made out of. But it flies. Yes. Yeah. They they're they're usually elemental. Um, depending <laughs> on where they live is really how that kind of dictates. What's that? I said they fly now. <laughs> um, shut, up. Shut, up. shut up. Old. Huh? So, oh, what? shut up. Tell him oh, shut yeah. up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, tell him So shut up. I'll fucking. Uh, I'll kind of push her along in front of me. I'll say, Let, let's go help. Um, okay. You probably have seen some of these mm -hmm. uh, back in Besh. Mm -hmm. um, except the ones that you would see down there. They actually have a devastating heat breath that isn't fire, but it's like a heat wave yeah. that they can put out. Um, so when I when I get up topside, um, basically what I'm going to tell everybody who seems to be preparing for combat um, is I'll say. Uh, Don't get too clumped up. If you do, it's going to use its uh, breath. Uh, breath. Uh, I, I don't know what, what it would be referred to as here, but it would... Um, breath attack. Just breath. Yeah, it would use its... Uh, uh, don't breathe on us. <laughs> yeah. Um, it would use its uh, breath attack on you. So stay spread out. Let me stand up. <sighs> All right. So basically, I'm letting everybody know don't clump up, and um, I'll say if you see it turn towards you and inhale, brace yourself. Yep. Okay. You see, some people look a little worried when you say breath. He said, uh, "I didn't know." Th so you, one of the guys says, "I didn't know they could breathe." Oh, uh, I mean, I didn't know that they had a breath weapon. The. The type I'm familiar with, it's extremely hot, but I would imagine up here in the north, it's probably freezing cold. Oh, to the pits with this. But if you stay spread out, don't give it an opportunity to give it a, 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 a to uh, use it effectively. All right. So ahead, you can see that the swirling uh, Weverin, you can see the light from the sun is actually coming in, and it is reflecting off of it in such a way of the rising sun that it's coming in and just the morning glow is reflecting off of it in like reds and different tints of pink and stuff like that when its skin is almost perfectly smooth like 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 glass mm -hmm. it's a shark <laughs> and it's uh really hard to dictate how long it is but you think the thing's probably about 12 feet long flitting about and you can see that there are these really small wings just kind of down its back and there's a total of six there's two in the front about two in the middle and there's two near the rear uh -huh. the two in the rear are much smaller and they kind of go into like tail fins and these almost humanoid arms are dangling up underneath it as it kind of flies about and it dips into the treetop and it comes right out and you can see that it is hitting something in the trees, and then it's pulling up. As if it's diving into a pool or water and pulling back up. Its its head is not so much like that of a dragon, but that of a huge serpent with a very sharp nose. And as y'all are rocking towards it, you see its head kind of whip, and the mouth is opening and closing. You can't really hear, but a very light chirp where y'all are. Would I be familiar with that chirp uh, as a form of it? Let me let me specify. Although it is dragonkin, it, it is elemental as well. Is it speaking primordial? Primordial? Mm -hmm. Uh, it is not. Okay. But would I be familiar with this chirp as it may be a sort of communication system 
for like the a twenty system. With the twenty three, yeah, you you know that they are that they do that they actually can speak. In fact, they can even speak a little bit common. Okay. Hmm. Now, again, the way you described it, you did say uh, it was an elemental beast, but it's not an actual beast, is it? It is dragonkin. It is. Okay, I'm just clarifying. Well, what I mean by elemental is that the elements itself impact them. Okay, no, okay. I I, I, I gotcha. Um, I was just clarifying for the sake of animal friendship. Gotcha. Um, I'll uh, tell uh, the wolf, uh, the wolfhound to go downstairs and hide. It whimpers. The tail goes between its legs and looks at you for a second. It's just for safety reasons, buddy. All right, it brushes into your leg, and then it kind of looks at Hernar and looks at you much longer, and then it takes off down the stairs. And it almost trips somebody. Here's someone downstairs go, hey! <laughs> I hope it's the same guy every well, time. It's absolutely the same man, same voice and everything. <laughs> this guy just can't get enough of this wolf. <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't have any ranged abilities. Does active. it seem need... intent on it on attacking us, or does it seem to just be keeping an eye? So it's very alien the way that it moves. Mm -hmm. The body is always undulating as yeah. if it can't be still, but the head is locked on the ship okay. as it's moving back and forth. It's watching y'all intently, and its mouth is moving up and down, and you can hear this chirping a little bit clearer. Let me know whenever it gets uh, 30 feet or 60 feet within range. What um, languages do y'all have? Uh, common and deep speech. Common. I'm just... Go ahead. Um, uh, I have common draconic. Uh, common giant and primordial. Okay. Hernar? Uh, goblin and common. Okay. Dusk, you're up top? Yep. Um, you start I, I, recognizing some of the words. Mm, that's draconic. Yes. What are you saying? I said that out loud. Oh, oh did you send me a message? Meat. Uh, uh, he's hungry, and he thinks for food. Um, um, so I'm going to yell actually back in Draconic uh, as loud as I can. We are not food. Fish are friends, not food. I fucked the fish. I fucked the fish. <laughs> Wait, they still far. This is, um, I'm going to run over to the woman running the boat. Okay. And I'm going to ask her to stop it. I'll, I'll say we're we're about to go right into a trap. Can you stop the boat for a minute? Her eyes go wide, and she shrugs, rolls them, and you hear her start like really loudly talking to her hands, and you hear something below the ship rumble in protest, and the ship almost completely lurches, and then it just just about stops all at once. Everyone, do a deck save. Here we go again. Here we go. I'm going over the side. Mm. Eight, seven, seven. I was prepped. Dusk, he's able to kind of just stand as the ship slides. Um, about half of the crew falls prone, along with Hurinar. Uh, Haju again. Um, and Orunk. You all fall prone. Right. So, I'm going to run over, and I'm going to, like, sort of crouch down next to you while you're on the ground, and go, we are about to roll into a trap. There's more than one of those things. Who's next to you? Yeah. You got to specify, Cap. Hmm? Oh, yeah, that's a really good point. Uh, I probably would have ran over to, um, uh, um, how the fuck do you say your name again? Orunk? Orunk, yeah, I would have gotten next to Orunk. Okay. You said that. Um, do I know these uh, to be pack hunters? Yes. Okay. 
that would have been helpful information earlier. Um, I'll uh, say uh, it makes they've sense. They've been known they are, to do that. They, the smaller ones. It, it makes sense. They they are pack hunters, especially you the smaller think ones. That, you didn't think to mention this. Uh, well, you know, it just came to my mind. Um, so I'm going to. Can they be reasonable? No, not really. Especially if what you say is true, where they're hungry, they're they're gonna get what they want to eat, or they'll die trying. Well, we've at least made it a little bit harder for them. Are we fighting or not? I would suggest preparing yourselves. Can we stand up yeah. at this point? Y'all can stand. The ship is completely stopped, and you can I see where the crewmen are. But... Can... As well. Remember, if there are multiple, make sure you don't clump up and 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 stay out of groups if you can. Their their breath <laughs> weapon is particularly potent. You hear the chirping a little bit softer this time. Um, like I said, I, Drake, let me know if they get within sixty or thirty uh, or I, thirty feet of my range. So I'm going to stand at the bow of the ship and I'm going to yell in Draconic. We already know you're there. The one in the sky dips into the trees. Everyone give me a perception. How far away is he right now? Probably about 200 feet. Okay. You can't hide from us. Okay. It's about time. Uh, it's about time. There we about go, time. guys. Nice. Okay. All right. About half of the crew, roughly, sees sees them with you. Y'all can count rough, you know, just about four. But four. you don't know if there's more. But for a fact, four. Do you, even with my natural 20, I can only see the four? In your case, you see five. Uh, so I'll point out the extra one that I know not a lot of people are noticing. I'll say there's a fifth one. Keep an eye out for it. There's a fifth one, and I'll kind of yeah. point my point to it. Yeah. So you point to it, and uh, this one looks different. This one doesn't look like the ones that are flying about. This one has four legs. Doesn't have six wings. It only has two. That's. Uh, that sounds like a wyvern. That's not a. Is it still a wyvern? No, that's a dragon. You said four legs? Yeah, that's, that's, a, dragon. A, that's a dragon of some well, type. Well, he was describing it earlier as the two front legs being the wing piece, right? So this has two wings. Yeah. It's got four thick legs. And oh. it doesn't, most dragons have these short, shorter necks, but this neck is long like a snake. And at the end of it is a head. And below that is one more neck with a head on that one. No, it's a hydra? It's a flying... Hopefully it's not a flying hydra. And well, it does thing, have wings, so... And its colors is a mod podge between green and snow white. Can I try and do a nature check? Since I've spotted this, can I try and do a nature check to try and identify this? Uh, Yeah, this, one, this one's going to be much tougher for you, though. That's fine. I still want to see if maybe I can recall something. Yeah, uh, that's not good Bless enough. You. Nowhere near. No. Yeah. Sorry. Um. But you point it out, and Simmer sees it, and he says, "What in the pits is that?" Even I don't know what that is, but it looks m more dangerous than the rest. So I don't know anything about it, but just keep to what I said. All right. Everyone, roll initiative.